I work as a consultant, project coordinator for Planet Finance Armenia New Project, funded by Pernod Ricard. Uh, my professional background um, uh, comes from development. I work for almost 12 years for Oxfam, um, mainly in Armenia in, as well as in different countries like Yemen, Tajikistan, Middle East, Iraq, Jordan, Lebanon, Egypt. Um, I was based in Lebanon and uh, when I got an offer, so I moved to back to my home country to contribute my skills, knowledge and to promote the project. Uh, in one of remote isolated villages of Armenia. Poverty alleviation is one of the main challenges in the country. According to Millennium Development Goals, there are a set of goals Armenia need to reach um, and uh, reducing poverty is among them. Um, according to my statistics, if I'm not mistaken, it's around 30% and uh, some portion of it is severe poverty and the region we work with among the most impoverished areas of the country, Tavush. It's a borderline village, it suffers a lot during the war, suffered a lot during the war with uh, Azerbaijan, a neighboring country. Uh, so development of agriculture sector is one of main priorities for the country right now and um, Access to financial services, IMFIs and credits, it's one of the challenges. Uh, like we were trying for our project, uh, we were investigating what kind of financial institutions would be interested in working with farmers and providing leasing uh, for uh, access to machinery. Those are the main issues farmers are facing in nowadays. It's a quite challengeable. Um, we don't have reinsurance of agriculture sector in the country and you know, people are really uh, scared uh, to apply to uh, loans and credits. Credibility is a challenge, cash flow is a challenge. Um, access to market, um, that's one of uh, main problems as well. To market properly the product, to have a quality and enough quantity of the product. It was about um, developing a project which might support the sustainability of grape production in the country. You know that brandy is one of niche products of Armenia, so it's also in line with the governmental policy to encourage the grape production and uh, especially uh, Armenian uh, grape types and to promote wine and uh, brandy production. And data shows, feasibility study data shows that um, Probably grape production is not the most luxurious uh, activity and um, it uh, demands a lot of contribution, a lot of efforts, but um, income people generate, it's not that much attractive, especially for young people to have longer perspectives and vision on to be involved on grape production. Um, also, it shows that data show that um, access to microfinance institutions is a huge constraint, uh, especially um, uh, microfinance institutions which might support in obtaining machinery. Um, and lack of machinery uh, was mentioned as among uh, the major problems farmer faces in the region. So the idea was to build cooperatives strong enough to have a vision, to have a business plan in mind to link a proper microfinance institution willing to work with farmers uh, and to apply for leasing, facilitate uh, the process of tractor obtaining and to help them to organize the usage of the tractor, uh, as well as meantime to um, explore whether is there any opportunity to think about renewal of purses and establish a nursery with the cooperative. What we want, what we bear in our mind to help them to diversify their product they are mainly clients for Pernod Ricard and Irvin Brandy Company and they mainly produce grape and their income comes mainly from grape but there is also opportunity to diversify the product and help them to gain more income and thus alleviate poverty in the region.